This is raw, unedited me. My mistakes, everything. It doesn't really matter. I'm not here to impress you. I'm here to have fun and hopefully share some of that fun with you. I'm not perfect. Far from it. So I'm just having fun. I like editing, but not as much as I like driving. So today you just get to see me drive. That was the whole point of giving this channel the name The Undrift. Because it's not the nicely edited stuff you see other places, it's just raw and cut me. See? And aside from shorts, I basically don't do a whole lot of editing. What you see is what you get. It's actual gameplay and then actual replays of that same gameplay. See, but I'm not going to make you suffer through stupid menus like this. I will hit pause throughout this time as I switch games, switch tracks, whichever. Or take breaks. So, let's just have some fun together. Representing for my crew here. Okay, my wife. It's really the only crew I need. I mean, my kids, too. They're part of my crew. <laughs> I know y'all have seen this track a bunch. I know you've seen this track a bunch in my videos. And that's because it's pretty much my favorite track in Car X. I've tried some of the... Yikes. Some of the workshop tracks. Um, and I like some of them. I haven't tried all of them yet. But this is the one I like to come back to. Over and over and over again. <laughs> there's just something about this track. I mean, there's so many options for different lines through here so you don't have to do the same thing over and over again although I tend to hit that more often than not so I literally do things over and over again and there's my nemesis the helicopter for some reason that's the spot I always want to come through in Uh, saw it happening. Good to finish with a wreck. Always good. So, here I am in the Tracks Workshop, and as you can see, I've downloaded literally every single one of them, which was a mistake because um, it really slows down my loading time at the beginning, but like I said, I've only played with a few of them. Um, the obvious ones are Brooklyn Park and Tamworth UK Streets. Um, if you're not familiar with Cicerito Tracks, uh, they are absolutely worth playing, and I would say they're so good, it's worth spending the few dollars on, uh, yeah, <laughs> on Patreon um, to actually get the full versions of these tracks. 
Um, if you're playing a set of Corsa, obviously that that doesn't really apply to this. Um, I'm hoping he approved these rips of his tracks because they are the full versions. So, anyway. So, from the workshop, I chose Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, which I'm not sure is real great in this. I've never played it before in here, but it's one of my all time favorite tracks. But generally, not to drift, and this looks uh, like it's missing something. <laughs> Doesn't look quite right. Whoa. That didn't look right either, but that was me. The sand looks a little too yellow. And maybe I should actually just pay attention to what I'm doing rather than paying attention to the side of the road. I mean, you'd go where you look, right? If I'm looking at the side of the road, that's where I keep ending up. Almost looks like gravel off on the apron there. Would not want to hit that in a drift. Probably just flip your car. Ooh! It looks like gravel up there too. <laughs> this track seems a little narrower than the actual Laguna Seca. Or I'm just making excuses for my poor drifting. I'm a little distracted by the track and sort of the lack of details. Which, if I was actually paying attention to what I was doing instead of looking at the details, this would probably be going a lot better. Seems like there's more detail in the background than there is right in front of your face. Now, although the track itself seems alright, um, I think it's probably one I'll shelve for right now and check back and hopefully it'll get updated and maybe look a little better and feel a little better. Whoa! Can't go that way. I promised you mistakes, right? Okay, so we're at the Tanamachi Dam Toge? Which doesn't make a whole lot of difference either way, because I am not good at toge. I tend to hit things. And I am completely unfamiliar with this track. I've never done this before. <laughs> Ooh. That didn't go well. Kind of reminds me of driving some of the mountain roads near home. Although, I um, don't tend to drive those sideways. That would not be the best cho Ooh, choice. Okay, there we go. I think it's funny I've spent so little time with Toge, considering that one of the things that got me into drifting in the first place was Underground 2, and a lot of those uh, mountain roads through there were definitely similar to Toge races. Whoa. Not what I meant. 
to do. See, I was trying to give you a nicer picture to look at, but you just ended up in the trees. As you can see, I've switched over to a set of Corsa. Um, I'm in a 180SX that I'm not familiar with. I don't think I've ever drifted this car before. Though it does say last. But either way, generic here. and I kind of just look through and I have kind of a basic blueprint for how I set cars up. This I'm not familiar with at all, so <laughs> this seems weird. I will go for as much front end negative camber as I can possibly get. Uh, put the front toe down to about negative 20. Going by what's showing up here, not what's here. This doesn't matter, this does. Uh, let me see here. Go the wrong way with that. I've heard different ideas about you know whether or not you should use ABS drifting. Um, I use it. Uh, you can certainly lock up the rear brakes with the handbrake. Um, I don't see much point in locking up the front. That doesn't sound right to me. So I keep the ABS on. Uh, most of that stuff I don't mess with unless I need to. Uh, the gear ratio looks reasonable. Okay, and I had been saving all my setups as PD, which was short for personal drift, but then I made the mistake of mapping um, one of the drone cameras to the D button. So every time I do that, it throws me into something I don't want to mess with. So, um, I guess we're going to go with PS for personal settings. <laughs> Save that. Go for a spin. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me adjust the dash. Okay, I'm back. Now with the triple 27s, I try to get the dash set up in a way that it looks like I'm actually in a car. Since immersion is definitely a big part of sim racing. This car is very loose and very sloppy. Yeah, I don't like this car. Okay, we're back with my trusty standby. Um, it's the BMW E36 from the Enjoy Car Pack. I'd say it's probably the car I spend the most time in. And can you tell the difference? Plenty of reason to drive the same car a lot. Although I have noticed that um, driving cars from the same car pack tends to be pretty close to as effective. And I'm dealing with a brand new handbrake and it is not quite adjusted the right way. 
So places where I would normally rely on that, and I'm kind of not using it. Road there. And I lost my drift. Almost feels like it's not engaging at all or engaging very late. That felt like not at all. Sometimes it's just fun to destroy tires. <laughs> and end up off road. And this here just blows my mind. You know where I am? <laughs> I'm playing around in Underground 2 and it's out of Corsa with traffic. There's just something very right about that. I felt like I got some handbrake there. Whoa. Considering this is the game that basically got me into the idea of drifting in the first place. Seems rather appropriate. Whoa, that handbrake needs to be moved. Might have to angle that or something. This is another one where I get distracted just looking at everything. I believe this is pretty much the full map at this point. Whoa, hey dude. Uh, it's going through there, but thanks. Okay, we're heading towards Beacon Hill. Whoa. Assuming I don't destroy the car before then. Which I might can do. Whoa. Uh. 
Okay. I'm going this way. And this is where I wanted to go. This is what I was talking about. Where all those roads are that were a lot like a tow gave. This is not going to work out. I have this funny feeling. Oops. to go for a barrel roll. I gotta say, the graphics from Underground 2 have not held up over the years. And yet, <laughs> something about coming on this track and just doing weird stuff that's peeling over and over again, especially with the traffic. Ooh. Speaking of... Oh, I missed him. This game would have been awesome with a wheel. <laughs> Squeeze past this Prius. Oh, I kind of want to go there too. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well this one kind of surprised me. Um, I'm in Horizon 4 right now. Uh, hopefully getting back to an actual road here in a second. Or not. How did he go the wrong way? And just so you can see, whoa, Steam will apparently let's go every time I hit the keyboard, but we're in a Grand National. And there's the road I was thinking of. And apparently, Horizon 4 doesn't like the idea of using an H pattern shifter as a sequential, so I have to shut that off and try to remember how to shift but the thing that's funny about this game is that when I was first learning how to drift with a wheel um, this was the one game I just couldn't drift in I mean I got proficient in car X and Seto Corsa. 
and couldn't get the easy one that everybody says is, you know, super simple to drift. I just couldn't do it. Oh, I got somebody had to fly over there. Um, anyway. And I actually started drifting on a wheel in Horizon 4, um, let me see, four days ago now? And it was actually prompted by a friend that I play with on here too, and this is his favorite game, so. I gotta say, back when I was on controller, this was probably my favorite game too. Obviously, I haven't mastered drifting in Horizon 4 in the last four days. I'm not even close. But it is an enjoyable game, and it's something I like being able to come back to. And of course the lack of damage in this is actually kind of nice because when I do hit something I'm not worried about, well, you know, is the front end of my car not going to turn properly, is, you know, did I knock something out of alignment and now the next drift I try is going to throw me into a wall. I mean, I can do that on my own. Honest. Okay, back to a view I'm a little more comfortable with. Although, again, in this game, third person um, isn't horrible to drift with. Keep forgetting I gotta shift gears. <laughs> and I just bump the stick one way or the other. Not sure if my handbrake is actually working at the moment. Got a bit sloppy. Ooh. That got a lot sloppy.
uh, into the wall. And I was so enjoying just sliding down that nice snowy road. Whoa. Some lake drift. Remember on control, I used to come across this lake just booking during the winter. And go sliding. Get sideways for like half the lake. Whoa, wrong gear. Wrong everything. Well, that was entertaining while it lasted. Now we get to do dumb things in BMNG. It's an 83 BMW 320i. I actually had one of these in the same color. Okay, I actually made this color so that it matched the car I had, but... This was a fun little car. If I had known then that I could do this with it, however, um, I probably would have killed the transmission that much earlier. But that's basically what ended up happening to it, is the transmission went out, and I had it rebuilt twice. And then, after that, I was driving it one night, and the radiator took on a large hole. And then so did the engine. And that nice rebuilt transmission ended up in a junkyard. But I get to play with this car in BMNG. And get to do things with it that I couldn't have done with the real car, so it's all good. Woo. And this is a great track that, you know, you can use in literally every major game at this point. I'm in the Brooklyn Park area of Brooklyn streets. And I gotta say, it is an absolutely brilliant track. So, I understand why it ends up in pretty much everything. I can drift this a lot better in other games, though. Honestly, this is the first time I've really been even remotely successful drifting in BMNG. So. I did say remotely. Come on. Cut me some slack here.
Yeah, it's been out. But that's alright. I feel like I sound like Bob Ross when I say that. I like it's a happy little accident. I mean, sometimes I feel like me getting a drip actually going and linking two drips together is a happy little accident, so... That almost looked like a successful drift. And then there's not. And now we're in Forza Motorsport because I guess I'd like to pay to be abused. I, I don't know. Um, as you might guess from the way I said that, this is not my favorite game, and I'm not alone in that. The worst part is I really want to like it. I've wanted to like it for the last, I don't know, three or four years that it, we've been hearing about it, and it hasn't lived up to the hype. What do you expect? So, since I can't decide on anything anyway with this, I'm just going to leave it up to random and accept all, and we'll be playing with a car that I just bought. Of course, it's a BMW E36. I mean, what else would I drive? And we get Grand Duke Raceway. Okay. Might as well just start the race. Let's see what happens. Maybe nothing. I just realized I forgot to... Make sure my transmission and everything was set up properly, but this view definitely doesn't work for me. Uh, apparently I'm in automatic. Hmm. Mm, that's a little slippery. Hey, there I am. Okay, now that I can actually see where I'm going, I'm just getting past anyway. They're pretty brutal. I didn't mean to drift there, but now I did. Wow. I don't know if I changed some settings since the last time I drove this or what, but it, it doesn't feel right. <coughs> I think I changed my wheel since then, so that could be part of it. It was weird driving an automatic. It's like I'm at work. Check this out, I'm passing people. This could get halfway decent. Or I could mess it up. But it's always possible. Yep, I'll, I'll mess it up. <clears throat> wow, she's a little drifty stock. <laughs> kind of like that. Well, sort of kind of like that. Um... I think that was a Grand National that passed me in camo. Ooh. Well, I'm only in 18th place. Again, it just straight up racing isn't my thing so much anymore. I would have chosen all-wheel drive for sure. Ooh. 
Whoa. And the option to shift on my own, that would have been nice, but whatever. Again, I don't remember what settings I'd use this on last time I played it. Gain two spots. Wow. That back end wants to slide. Or maybe it's just my driving style promotes that. I think that's probably the idea there. I mean, I do drift all the time, so I mean, my natural instinct is going to be to, well, not crash, but usually drift. And I managed to lose three places from where I was this time last lap, so. But I had improved my lap time by over six seconds. How do you figure that one? I'm sure my difficulty setting isn't very high on this. I feel the slide now. I mean, there's still still cars in my rear view mirror, so I'm not completely losing here. Which, I mean, if I'm going to say something nice about this game, I would say that the mirrors are actually fair, fairly accurate and do add to the sense of immersion. Um, but overall, that's let down by the rest of it not working very well. So, I I'm glad you got some visuals, right? Um, physics would have been a good choice too, but hey, it's okay. This is another game where if I hit the keyboard, I lose the steering wheel for a second. I don't know if that's their idea of an anti-cheat device or something, but I think it's probably it's a lag issue of some sort. It seems it only happens in uh, Microsoft games, though. Last lap. Let's go. I'm pretty sure it used to happen in Motorsport 7 as well. Yeah. Keep on sliding. Maybe I can make up, you know, a few of these spots anyway. Although I am on the fourth lap, so I'm literally cutting it close. I think one's about to take it back. Oh, nope. I blocked him. Can I get this guy? Yay, I passed up all the wagon. No, 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 stay, there we go, oh, just, well, now I hit a Volvo wagon. I'm not used to trying to drive careful like this. Oh, yes, yeah, 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 I did not spin out that time. You know, one of four laps. 
Uh, but I get passed. That was fun. Well, that was a wonderful showing. Um, 18th place. Yeah, whatever. Um, I'm to blame for that. <laughs> I'm sure. But at least I have something here that says I didn't leave this out completely. Even though I probably should have. Well, I had in mind to do a little um, little bit of play in Dirt 5, but although it detected my steering wheel, um, would not map anything, and the second time it didn't detect it at all. So, but it's working everything else. So, instead, we're in Cars 2. And again, on my favorite track, Laguna Seca. I hope this goes better. Whoa. The classic mistake is going into this turn way too fast, I would guess. That turn way too fast. Or any turn way too fast for that matter. Whoa. That was a rather violent shift. Somehow this seems to require more concentration than just drifting. I mean, there was a time where I was actually fairly decent actually racing, but I just don't do it very often anymore. I mean, when I do, I enjoy it. And my FOV is way off because of the odd view. Speaking of odd views, you get to have another one for a little while. Definitely not shifting properly. <laughs> I 
and I'm getting passed by a Mustang. Whoa. I'm getting back on the throttle way too fast for my shift. So there we go, a little drift. <laughs> Unintentional, but it's like an all Mitsubishi battle right here. I'm not going to completely lose that battle, I guess. Yet. <laughs> I've had enough. Well, if you are still here, you are a true fan, and I thank you very much for sticking with me for a ridiculously long video. Um, you're probably a family member, so, hey, haven't seen you in a while. Um. Anyway, but thanks, and I'll see you next time when I do something dumb on the undrift.